I suppose you could say that when I found the oboes, that was sort of a turning point in my whole career. The oboes is a pile of rocks erected by the natives of Tibet at a sacred places, a source of water, and mountain pass. This is their expression of their thanks to the gods for their safe passage, or just the joy of living. I was born in Seattle and raised in Japan. And at the age of 17, I came back to Seattle. After I came back to the United States and uh, went through formal art education, I became aware that I'm just being drawn into this big current of so-called modern movement, where if you learn the system, you can produce modern art. There's no more regionalism and very little individualism left. So I started thinking very seriously of my heritage. And about that time, I discovered this thing called obos. There's something very, very special about uh, our mountains in the Northwest, especially in our own state. Now, from my house, uh, I fortunately have a, a full view. When I'm designing, I always think about the obos. What a, a simple and very basic thing the natives did in, in Tibet or some remote mountain village. So it's a, a feeling of harmony of earth, man, and space. Let's see. And, and that's a beautiful uh, thing. Now, this eventually becomes one of my main thoughts behind uh, fountain design. Here I combine the water and the uh, piling of solid forms. I have designed over 40 fountains. I, I travel around the world in search of uh, fountain concepts, and some of the uh, architects start to build these gigantic fountains, and uh, they are building dams. To me, this is a expression of the endless supply of energy, which is very misleading to our people today. Well, my school, my ideas are just the opposite. I like to let the, the nature take care of uh, the flow and the sun play on it. As I became a little more uh, successful, a lot of people asked me, well, why don't you get, get a nice big uh, shop downtown so I can do big things? Well, I always liked the idea of living here and working here, close to my family. I did all my, I think, most of my major work here. It's been so pleasant. Well, I have four children. The oldest boy is, is my assistant. The artist always discovers new ways to use metal. And then in doing so, when he uh, hits the right combination of his aesthetic uh, desires and the uh, sculptural form, when it comes together in perfect union, there's a great joy here. When I de uh, designed and developed that gate, uh, using all these uh, curves and reverse curves and, and the circles gave me a chance to have the possibility of uh, continuous and fairly uh, symmetrical pattern, which we find in nature. Like, trees and flowers and vines and, you know. My wife is a very good cook, 
And I always insisted that I do my work at home, where I'm close to the kitchen. <laughs> well, uh, I, I, it, it's fine with me, although when she's preparing a big dinner or something like that, I, I think I get in the way. So she just tells me to just go and, and do my sculpture <laughs> or painting. <laughs> And, and I can't say there was never any conflict. My wife is very autistic, too, and she has accomplished a lot in uh, classical dance and Japanese music. And I know very well that if she were allowed to, she would have uh, established herself very well with a very outstanding creative person of some kind. I know she, ha she always had that dream. So I really uh, appreciate her sacrifice because she was always with me. This is a wonderful thing, you know. And that's what permeates, I think, through my whole family. They show respect for what I uh, do and what I stand for. <laughs> 